Hi everybody, this is Megan with Left and Knots, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to crochet the star stitch in the round. I have several patterns that use this star stitch in the round, on, available for free on my blog, along with over a hundred other free crochet patterns, and I will link a few of those um, star stitch patterns below in this video description in case you'd like to check out the written patterns. For the star stitch in the round, I've started like I would start a hat or a mitten. Um, you could also start with just chain stitches like you were to, like you would start a cowl. Um, that doesn't matter, but I do recommend starting with an odd number of stitches. So right now I've got 29 stitches around. And now I'm going to chain two. For the star stitch, one of the most difficult parts is right at the beginning with this very first star stitch of the round. You're going to insert your hook, I'll use my needle to point, you're going to insert your hook first into this back loop of your first chain stitch and then in the front loop of your first chain stitch. So here I'm going to insert it into the back loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'm going to go back into this front loop of that same chain stitch. This is the second chain stitch from your hook. And then yarn over and pull through that loop of your chain stitch. Now I'm going to insert my yarn into this first stitch of the round. Pull up a loop. Insert my yarn into the second stitch of the round. Pull up a loop. And insert my hook into the third stitch of the round. and pull up a loop. At this point you should have six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to yarn over and pull that yarn through all six of those loops. And then you're going to chain one to make what I'll call the eye of your star. So the first star stitch of the round is a little bit special because you start it differently. The rest of the star stitches that you'll work in this round are identical. You're starting with one loop on your hook, you're in inserting your hook into the eye of your previous star, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you're going to be inserting your hook into the last post of your previous star stitch, this space here. Yarn over and pull up a loop. The next place you'll insert your hook is this last stitch that you worked into for your previous star. So that stitch will be worked into twice. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. So I've got four loops on my hook now. I want six, so I'm going to put my hook in these next two stitches here and pull up a loop two more times. So those two stitches are the only stitches that have been not previously worked into by your previous star stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through all six loops, and chain one to make the eye of that star again. So I'll show you that again. You're going to work your hook first into the eye of the star, yarn over and pull up a loop. Next, you're going to go into the last post of your star stitch, pull up a loop. Next, you'll go into the last stitch you worked into with your previous star stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. There you've got your four, and now you'll insert your hook into these two new stitches and pull up one more loop through each one. So you've got your six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all six, then chain one to make the eye of your star.
circle through all six, make the eye of your star. I'm going to continue these star stitches around and then I will come back and show you how we end this round. So here I'm near the end of my round. I have two stitches left to work into. That means I have one more star stitch to make. I'm still going to finish with that chain one to make the eye of the star. And now in this last stitch, I'm also going to work a half double crochet into that last stitch that was already worked into by my previous star. So here you can see is where the star stitch went through that stitch. And then I also half double crocheted into that stitch. Now I'm going to slip stitch to join. I like to slip stitch right into the top stitch of my first star stitch of the round. So right here I'm going to slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work two single crochet stitches into each eye of the star stitches from the previous round. So I'm going to insert my hook, one single crochet, two single crochet. You're going to work those into each eye of the star from the previous of the stars from the previous round. And you can see I flipped my piece so that I'm showing you the right side of the stitch. So this is the right side of the stitch and you can see that those single crochets just kind of finish out that star shape. So the star stitch is a stitch that requires basically two rounds to complete. Or rows if you're working in rows. So this is the last star stitch here. So I'm going to work two single crochet into that star stitch. And then this is your half double crochet that you worked at the end of your last round. You're going to work one single crochet stitch into that stitch. And then that will keep your stitch count at 29 stitches like we started when we started these star stitches. I'm going to join to that first single crochet of the round with a slip stitch, pull tight. And now you can do whatever you want. If you're working a few rows of just basic stitching in between star stitches, you can do that. Or you can go right into another round of star stitches. But that is how you star stitch in the round. Again, I have several free patterns available on my blog using this stitch. You can find them all at www.leftandknots.com and I will link some of them in the video description below. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope you enjoy my other free patterns and video tutorials as well.